hello there guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more alan wake here on the channel we are heading straight into the next chapter straight on into the next chapter after we just finished it off this is a separate video but this is a direct follow-up to where we just left off the story is getting there we're getting in there you know we just got into it and we're thrown into all of this where's my wife where's the lake where's the cabin or not where's the lake more so where is the cabin on the island and where's the alan you know what i mean where's the alan wait the alan where's the alan he's right there he's the main character where is the cabin and the island that usually was situated that we know to be situated in the center of the lake you know the longest way to freaking explain that but yeah we are getting into it we just got to the gas station and we contacted the police they were like what's up i said i don't know what's happening please come here they said we'll come to your location immediately sir she should she showed up she pulled up in the police car she asked us what the heck's going on did you see mr stucky i said because i didn't want to be caught out i didn't want to be like i saw him in the woods i fought with him and he, he tried to kill me so i i did so to him before he could such do such things i didn't want to do that so then i just stayed at the police woman like this and she eventually didn't ask me any questions for some reason and just left it at that she did probably notice my wound she noticed that she's probably concerned about that wondering about that but we are headed straight into it to see what alan's going to do about his wife to see what he's going to be trying to do i don't know if he's going to confront the woman the, the woman with the with the with the freaking funeral get up if he's gonna confront her or if he's gonna just do his own thing i mean i do know but i kind of know i kind of remember but you know we're heading into it this is a replay but i just freaking this game is spe something special i've mentioned this in the previous place and i'm probably gonna mention it in every video from here on so get ready get geared up get prepared because it's gonna be said in every intro going forward that alan wake is something special really love this game really freaking love the storytelling in this game remedy does a great job of that they do a great job of making games are they underrated possibly as a studio possibly that quantum break thing though we don't talk about quantum break at least I don't, you know, I'm, I'm not too sure about Quantum Break, just the fact that, like, that, sto that story expected you to watch a whole freaking series. Like, if I wanted to watch a series, I'd turn on Netflix, dude. If I wanted to watch a series, I'd turn on Netflix. I don't know what they were trying with Quantum Break. That was a bit too much of a a, 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 a risky play on, on Remedy's part in terms of merging media, but it works with this, and it works with, 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 with Control, dude. That's why it works. Do that stuff. Don't do full-on episodes of a TV series in between your game. Like, I sit down to play games to play games, not to watch freaking Netflix. But anyway, let's hop right into it, see what's gonna happen. I think we are gonna be in the police station. Hopefully this starts as I please continue. It just starts where it is previously on and let's hop into it hopefully you guys enjoy if you do please like share subscribe support the channel get the channel going get going somewhere because i don't know if this is a freaking like why my, my videos on like you know i don't i don't get it you know dude i put it out there the, the, the youtube the youtube gods oh, there's no youtube gods there's just people at a desk at the laptop or a freaking desktop dude but they have programmed the website i'm i'm freaking i'm calling you out right now i'm calling you out right now youtube like at least send me some hashtags you know don't send me tips send me the hashtags that you guys anyway this should hop straight into it Obviously on Alan here we Wake. go right there dude right there to go straight into my it wife, Alice. thank you for coming here with me it's my wife my I beautiful wife i guess i don't want to hear it god damn it, i guess she's kind of beautiful you know who knows i guess she's worth it rescuing my life for i'm just joking the crashed car I'm missing a week. It's his I wife. By he loves her dearly. From a nightmare. He wouldn't have married her if she didn't the think she was worth risking his life for. But the cabin had disappeared. Episode 2. Taken. With Liam Neeson. Three years ago. I forgot there was a flashback sequence in this. Three years ago he just didn't shave for three years and that's how he got his beard, you know. Three years later. Honey, and go straight home. into it. I just like what's how they just throw you into the gameplay. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Ma'am, I'm right hey, in the room with you. This is gonna be a long night, but these shots okay, are nice. turning out great. Yep, that's incredible. I'm gonna need that coffee then. I'll go put it okay, on. He has the beard going fully. Why would you shave that off? You look so weird without the the shaving. 
Right into this room, what we got going on here, pick up the manuscript page. Examine the desk. We'll examine the bookshelf, I guess. Got some Alan Wake, Alex Casey, and Alex Casey Thriller. What? I can't forget an Alex Casey Thriller. Return to Sender and Alex... Bunch of Alex Casey. Bunch of Alex Casey uh, thrillers going on here. Okay, the double dual pistol is going. So I don't know if that is a reference to Max Payne, the old Alex Casey character. Since we had the director or... Is it the director? I forget the, 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 the whole involvement of the guy. I know he's in a really high position in making these games. I think he's the director. He is like the face of Max Payne, the old Max Payne in the old games. And also he's going to be Alex Casey's face in the sequel. And heavy snowfall have necessitated a winter storm warning in the entire tri-state area. People are advised to stay indoors as many roadways are already closed. And city officials are not expecting snow crews to keep up with the weather. We're now on the third day of the blizzard and the weather is not expected to clear up anytime soon. Okay, dude. I think Alan Wake honestly like taught me that grown men can also wear hoodies. Like, let's be honest. I think that's a valuable lesson we can take away from this game. It inspires me. It, ins it should inspire others, you know. Hoodies are a, a multi multi year plan. You can always invest in a good hoodie. And nobody will care because it's ageless. It's timeless. Hoodies are timeless. Hoodies are timeless. That's what Alan has taught me. Okay. Anything in this room? No. I guess we lock that room. We can't leave our apartment because, you know, we're trapped in here. Our wife loves us too much that we can't actually escape. Can't read that note right there. Turn on the coffee machine. We Coffee's go. on. Great, thanks. I'll need no it. No problem, honey. What the heck is this? New flat screen? Nice. CCTV. CCTV, really? <laughs> CCTV, dude, is the name of the TV that we got. And then we have no TV at the moment. Just that huge freaking, what is that? Sound system that can't, why couldn't we push that a little further back? Why do we have it leaning over the side of the freaking, it's gonna fall. Okay, let's just head into the, the freaking picture room, I guess. Oh, Honey, hey, how's it going? I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell okay. me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. Oh. You mean the stage coffee? I think I looked at those already. All sorts of miracles, my dear. Yeah, I think I looked at these already. I tried these look to. Really good. They oh, look really sure, good. Until Barry gets his hands on them, which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The oh. last time was the last don't, time. Don't speak too soon, oh, my lady. Barry, my wifey. <gasps> oh. Alan. He's like a daily skip up. You can still see the freaking box. light bleeding in from the right window, here. man. I'm on it, honey. Like, Please don't act hurry. like it's pitch dark. I'm right here, like, baby. Like, how can I'm you fine, not see I'm me? Fine. Just get the lights back on. Our now, eyes are extremely please. sensitive, I guess. Okay, so we use that. Honey, the it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay, this is the backstory okay. to how you learned how to use a flashlight. Hi. Okay, where do you keep you the, okay? the switch board? I'm sorry. Switch box. I just. The breaker just box. Really spooked me. Don't worry. Yep. We'll just break out the candles. Here you go. Go. Is some light for you. I know it's stupid, but it's just okay. Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know, it gets to me. Okay, are you sleepy? You look like you're tired. Tell you need some story, coffee right? immediately. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you too. <laughs> why yeah, did he have story, that though? Like, let's be honest, like in the moment, why no. the heck did he have that? <laughs> Seriously. You said that laying down I on the ground there? Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Oh. Okay. Oh, what is that position that they were taking? Why? What is it with people in like movies and games like that? that just they don't buy curtains. I get that you just moved into this apartment or whatever. I don't, did you just move in here? It looks like you just moved in. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any like, why do you not just like get that? some blinds or Mr. curtains, Wake? dude? Doesn't care you on the fortieth floor. Like get some freaking curtains. 
There are some weirdos out there with binoculars. I'm okay. I'm saying. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Very yeah, so. Talking to me about taking it easy. This man's well, like then, 10 years past retirement still working. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, so looking the footage, maybe. Is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc mm, Nelson you, was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Okay, what are we examining exactly? The strange fish that he caught. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not yep. the biggest I ever caught, if okay. you can believe that coming okay. from an old fisherman like me. But okay, weird right flex, huh? Nice. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Okay, uh, okay. You a I don't care, so, you know, the crazy thing is I don't really, really care. Matter, I suppose, but it can be very relaxing So. You can't get me off so, the water this time of year. So, closest thing to heaven. So, I'll take I see. Your word for oh it, my Doc. gosh! And don't even, don't even, don't even uh, uh, amuse this man. So I said, I'm sorry you had to cut your plan short of the fishing with the fishing like the like, sir. And then you gave me a whole, so you gave me a whole life story about your fishing days. I'm like, calm down, Tom Sawyer. Like, we do not need to hear your whole freaking life story, bro. Like, you and Uncle Baby Fun running around fishing. Okay, wait, what? You Have you seen this man disappeared on the 6th of the 20th, 2007? I'm reading that like uh, that there is no 20, there's 12 months. I did say the 6th of the 20th. American, dude. It's American. So, this is the 20th of June. 2007 identifying features neck for winning contest that's crazy like what wait he's identifying features on neck for winning contests like you have to hope you find this man attempting a contest to entering into a contest to find him like wait that guy's really good at this contest that's that's the guy that's missing he's he's scarfing now the rock dog is dude like a champ He's missing Richard Powell, Bruce Dansky, Jacob Miller on a camping trip. Overdue, haven't been in contact. If you have seen them or know their whereabouts, please call 555-9932. I'm sure that was a real number you could call. Thank you. And it probably went to some weird freaking default thing that advertised the game. Come Who knows in, what? Mr. No, I don't want to... Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's okay, charged maybe now. I will talk to you. Who knows? Maybe I will talk to you right now. Thank you, ma'am. See, he has a cell phone. I guess he have didn't have signal, but I mean... Have you my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. No. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out no. of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? Yep. How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Okay. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? This inner monologue stuff is so. Please help me. <laughs> Alice? Stop talking to the law. You do oh, exactly wow. what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Yeah, it's my wife. Go to the back lot. Yeah, it's my the wife. Hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. Okay. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't okay, sir, so I don't know. like you like that, so we we just met over the phone. I don't want to meet you at Lava Speak anytime soon. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Of course, Mr. Wake, you can get there. Terrible secret theory. Terrible secret theory. I'm supposed to be I'm supposed to be in detainment for questioning him, and you're just letting me go outside. Crazy. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. I couldn't go anywhere yet. Oh, apparently you can go along with the caller. Two feet Alice's outside the door. Life was at stake. I mean, two, two, you can two centimeters. Through that door and down the corridor, Mr. Wade. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Thanks. You, why is everybody just old and possibly diamond looking in this town? Like what happens when everybody dies? This town just has nobody living in it. 
So I don't see any children running around. Okay, let's pick up the manuscript page. Examine. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. No snap. This was supposed to be driving it? Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. James out. Okay. So Stucky's missing. We know where Stucky is. He's ashes on the ground somewhere in the forest. No one will ever find the body, so there's nothing they can get back to us, but also that we are not we are not guilty of anything because he was attacking us as a shadow creature. Hey, hey you. Can you help me? I said, how's it going? Can I can help you. Time? I know the great AA club that you can, you know, join up with. It's you know, so freaking out. crazy. You can actually like they have this point where you can actually like choose to not turn the light on and let that guy be mad at you. Hey, or you can actually switch the light on. I'll do it so you can get some light. Hey, Who cares, you, you know? You. Hey, like, these guys are electricity build up just because right. you need to get sober. You're That's crazy. Guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. You know I shouldn't even be in here. Okay, I wanna hear it. I see it wrong. See? Sure, okay. sure, sure. I in sausage fingers up. leaning over I the bars. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. Okay, so you deserve the lights off, let's be honest. Afterwards. You deserve the lights off. Here you go. Oh, why'd yeah. you do that for? Because you freaking you suck, so you need to get yourself checked. You? you need to get sober, you need Space aliens! I'm a space you alien, so. Right exactly who I am. Will you just wait? Okay. You just wait. Okay. Oh, okay, and he seems to be dying now. Okay, let's turn the lights back on. How about that? Uh, are you happy now? Are you rejoicing yeah, in the Boskin song? Yeah, well, okay, so well done. Well the done, son. I'm glad you could achieve your goal in 50,000 years in one night. Said, Go through the fence on the left. Okay, the fence on the left we are looking for. Okay, turn on. Turn on. Why is it just a random radio out here? Nobody's monitoring this. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> just one more item before I go. It's okay. been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've my gosh, this is so quiet. Even report of shots fired on Main Street. If these Mulligan and Thorn had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks. We get this every year. I know it's exciting. The big day is almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. Okay. Mm, tunes keep going. So he's talking about the events that just happened at the gas station and like this whole investigation that's going on because Stucky's missing. The caller had told me to find a hole in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Yeah, I can see that guy over there. See them at the front desk. They don't see me running around out here. Okay, so I think I have to go over here. And then over here. Oh, yep. I'm so excited to be getting out of here. Well, the manuscript page. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. Oh. The caller meant business. Yeah. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. What? Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going I had to get the sheriff to let me go. Okay. I needed to get to Elderwood National get Park to, to meet the Alice's kidnappers. Shade off of them. So was, oh, he's passed out, dude. Look at this man. A writer is a light that reveals the world of his story from darkness, shapes it from nothingness. The way a sculptor carves a statue from a block of granite. If I stop, the world I'm making dies. Darkness will reclaim it. 
It's a long, hard journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that, or I'll lose it. The dread lingers at the edge of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. It's actually a crazy TV. We used to have a TV like that. With all those, like, knobs on it. Freaking classic old TV. Didn't have the aerial sticking out to the top of the dead. Those, like, freaking, like, meters on it. Little, like, lump, like, like, what do you call those, like, little sliders? To tune the channels. And the volume and stuff as well. Like a little slider. Yeah, what are you doing, yeah? Here we go. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still no. need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. Roaches are perfect. nasty. I'm nasty, nasty. Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay okay, at so that's Lodge. nice. Thank Did you very really much, but no wife. thank you. I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several Get mad, Ellen. Did you Get mad. something up with her? I Get mad, invited Ellen. her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, hey! Oh, my! <laughs> Take it easy! Ellen, you savage dude. I'm sure hey, you would get, get arrested for that. Off of my client. Or detained or something I'm because Barry like... Wheeler, his agent? If you, you just attack the man in front of Wake, officers for no reason. Me. You yokels won't know what hit you once I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done. Okay, it's because I'm he... All right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. I mean, honestly, he, he's in the right there. Like, he could have pressed charges, let's be honest. Like, legally, I feel like... Like, Alan was a bit... What the hell was that about, Al? He was not thinking he's right there. a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were going to lock you up. And we get introduced to Baddy as well in this part. I had to talk to someone. Yeah, the I game just feels like a morph. He like, thought I was certified. This this full in Baddy's script I had him. The fact that I'd written something even if I the Baddy section that was enough for him. He smelled money and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. If somebody's in roses here, dude, why are you everywhere, man? Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Okay. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! She is crazy already, dude. Just the way she moves like a robot. Who's Max? I don't know. I just got you, Betty. What you an like I'm, I'm a member of this, Jeez, of this, this, this freaking like, footage group this is over not here. Her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. Yep. Super fan. Kind of psycho. Okay, what does it say? Bucktooth Charlie. The skeleton of a Colombian mammoth, Mammothus columbi, the specimen estimated to be 14,000 years old, was recovered from the Labria Tarpets in 1981. It was donated to the Alderwood National Park in 1998 when the Colombian mammoth became Washington State fossil. Named Bucktooth Charlie, it has since become the park's official mascot. Yeah, that's kind of cool, some freaking mammoth. Aren't they bringing the mammoth back? There was like talk of the mammoth coming back in 2024. They tried to resurrect mammoths or like Seriously, Al. What artificially you car, manufacture just mammoths. To what, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? Yep. When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? Probably, dude. Let's be honest. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry dog. about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. Go to Bulldog, you have this one. What is what this? Is this like a golden uh, receiver? Okay. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're That's Max. To use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low lowlifes. <sighs> well, at least Max is going to be okay. He got lucky. 
Max is still groggy from the okay, shot. Okay, damn, son. I'd rather not leave him Let's alone just yet. What? The form's on the desk across from the mammoth okay, skeleton. Okay, thank you. Thank you. I'll grab them immediately. Do you understand what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Okay. Seriously, Al, you can't just go and meet a Benny, kid I'm not even like Those situations always dude. end Did up I say in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. Okay, I'm signing the phone, Betty. Can you calm down? My call. Can we talk okay, about I'm this signing later? next to the no, phone, Betty. This whole thing is just sign the disc. Listen, you hit your head. Wait here. Okay, yeah, but that was after. Well, no, I guess that was before the crazy stuff started happening, technically. End of the form. Here you go. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, okay, Mr. Wake. Thank you. Glad to have you staying here. I'll take those. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh. Okay. Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's okay. an easy walk. Thank you. Nice spot, too. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. No, nope. I won't have to run. I'm, go I'm all good, sir. So I'm all good. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the assistance. Thank you for the keys. Let's go, baby. Okay, let's head up to that lava's peak, dude. We are. We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry! The killer. Okay, this let's break property Barry. that doesn't belong to us, Emma. That's I'm a good idea. Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help and I'll do it. You stay here. And no, I'm not dude. I want Benny with me at all times. I mean, I guess it's good to have somebody stay Just behind, but what if we get to think? What is Barry gonna do? These yokels are dangerous. Everybody hates a tourist, or it'll be deliverance all over again. Yeah. Hachi! Bless you. Oh, this place is trying to kill me. I'll bet there's mold in here, spores, poison ivy, God knows what. This is so not worth a 15% commission. Okay, dude, why is he dressed like a freaking member of the Goonies? Lock the door when I leave. Like, why yep, is Paddy yep, just, just a... Go like, ahead and do what you, you have know? to do. I'll be fine. He's dressed like Alone, a 12-year-old. Okay, cabin wait. Straight from a horror okay, movie. dude. What for you point that thing, Al? <laughs> yeah. That's another cool feature that this, this game has, is like the NPCs. They act to your flashlight when you shine, like, Stop in their it, face. Al. Stop it, which is a cool, like, a little feature to have in the game. Since it is based around light and stuff, it's just cool that they took that into consideration. I do hope they kept that. Real funny, nope. Al. There you go. Real you need, you're gonna need that. You're gonna be needing that light. Thank you. And even that, like, the back. little interactions that the characters all, like, room. respond to. Like, switching off the light and the guy in the prison cell. Let's switch off the main lights. I didn't realize we were back in the third grade here. <laughs> hey guys, just so freaking um what am I saying? So freaking humble? I don't even know what I'm saying. It's just cozy and comfy to the way the game works. Okay, there we go. Got yeah, that manuscript page. Run around in this random little building that doesn't serve a distinctive purpose. And then let's just... Let's walk into the woods because we don't have a I whole freaking vehicle we can use. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them. And they had Alice. Yeah. You have to save Alice. What the heck is that? Yeah, so basically the plot of the game is that Alice is gone, where is Alice? That's the gist of it. Okay, turn on the radio. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, 
Evolve ammo. Like. Nice. My plan? You make it sound Not the like doctors on the radio. I ever seem to manage. Hilarious, dude. The doctor and the, and the guy in the radios. I love those jokes. Tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly that. But I'm gonna check out the parade, of course. Yeah. And I'll be one of the pie contest judges, too. Oh, thank you for well, mm, that is pie contest judge. Crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape. <laughs> you're the outdoors type. I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a large mouth bass. Yeah, we seen that. See, it comes back but around, comes back around. They do a lot of that in this contest. game. No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, mm -hmm. you know? Considering your yeah, I mean, I enjoy good fishing too, you know. Good fishing, go at the go at the fishing. Never <laughs> successful, but well, Pat, that's kind of you, to say. you know, not too clued up on the baits and, and those types of things. I just throw the freaking line into the ocean, just stick a piece of cheese on the end, and and act like I'm actually gonna catch something. This isn't a Red Dead Redemption too. Real life is not like Red Dead Redemption. Let me tell you. You can't just put a piece of, of cheese on a stick and wave it around in the water. It doesn't work like that. And also I feel like corn as a bait is scam, dude. That's a scam. Corn as a bait is a scam. They just sell that stuff in, in freaking kilos just to get you to buy it. And then it never catches you anything. Never succeeds. Worst bite ever. Okay, kick the door open. Okay, I don't think the lights in this one are working. Yep. Some plants, some freaking. There's an evil differences. Okay, some more Twilight Falls, so I forget what this show's called. What is it called again? But some are Moonlight Hills? Night Springs. Okay, what we got going on in tonight's episode? The Man in the Mirror. Okay. Crazy zoom in. Crazy zoom in. It's dumb, dude. <laughs> it's you pick a guy and quoting from the arresting officer's report here. Assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists. Wow. That sentence really flows, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. So you messed up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face? I don't like his face. Like, why are you questioning it? Sir? I'm interrogating you, and you will bring me a response that makes it sound very really suspicious. So, what kind of in interrogation, dude? He's wearing an Ellen Wake shirt. He's wearing an Ellen Wake t shirt in the interview. I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrived, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? I am awake. Oh, it says I am awake, it says on his shirt. I left my mark. You bastard. It's gonna let the guy in the freaking interrogation room. Damn, that's some crazy reverse psychology. Okay. Oh. 
Okay. Don't know what just happened. Something about the murder. And something happening in murders. That was the most confusing one so far. I mean, we've only seen two. This is the second one. Of course, that was the most confusing one. I don't know what the heck just happened there, but Night Springs is a crazy wild show that nobody should actually be watching. That feels like the people working at the studio just felt like filming like a bunch of skits. To like they were like, we need to make like this show that we can have like existing in this world, but we don't have like a crazy budget to like make episodes to put on the TV. So let's like just like sit down in the office and use some of the boardrooms to actually like just form some weird concepts. It's like, Dave, you have a lab coat, right? Like, yeah, I mean, I have this crazy idea where we, like, in a science room and the teacher is trying to, like, shoot the gun in, in his head and then, you know, and, 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 then, and then it doesn't work and it's a little machine. Like, I feel like that that's just what they do for those. Okay, so let's uh, run over here, huh? We have another manuscript page that we can't actually read right now because I don't know which page it coincides with which. Page that is supposed to be. The vision left me weak. This was no oh vision. snap, what is happening? Oh my Shots fired, shots fired. Rusty, hang on! Oh God, Rusty please, please. just got freaking body with a whole bunch of clips taken off. Somebody emptied their old revolver in that man's chest because he's still talking, so I'm assuming. Like, how do you take that many shots? Well, I guess that was him taking the shots, right? That was him shooting. Oh, Rusty. Oh my goodness. Rusty has seen everything. Look at this, like a person. Was that him? Did this thing like toss him up against the wall? It's me, dude. <laughs> Oh, hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. Mm. I found. Came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. At least the dog's fine. Must, the lights. You know? In the office. I, I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever okay. did this, this man said the lights. Bar. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what Look at happened. this man. Look at Rusty right now. This man, I get where this man's looking. Look at his legs. Look at his leg. Look at his right leg. His left leg. This man got tossed around, broken legs. His eyeballs look like they're about to fall out of his head. And he's about he's telling me about switch the lights on. Shh. Good boy. Like I mean I get it, these are shadow creatures, but sir. You don't think you maybe need medical attention because your life may be at risk. Like I would be like, you better not leave me. Call the cops immediately and the stay by my way side. The sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. How does that make sense? How about you, the, the only thing to keep you safe is first call the medics, then go do those things about the lights and the electricity and that whatnot. You know. Cause now we nobody knows we're out here. Nobody knows this man's injured. But the lights need to be switched on. What? Okay, going in the back. Might as well steal some of his supplies back here. He's not gonna need that. Oh, well, I was too late. In advance, you know. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. Yeah. There was no way to get the lights back on. Exactly. So now, guess what happens? I wonder what could possibly happen next. What the heck is that? Oh. When that sound effect hits, I freaking have to look behind me. So tempted to look behind me. Okay. Get back. Get back. This is my town. I just arrived here and this is already my town. I own this. I own this. I own this place. Get back. Where did he go? Did they just take his whole body? Please tell me the dog's fine. Okay then. Yes, not. They freaking took the dog as well. Please don't feed the animals. Don't feed the animals. 
I like how there's just giant crates filled with it out of revolver ammo. Every way. Like this town just embodies America perfectly, I feel like. From what I've heard, from what I've heard of America, that seems like a accurate depiction. Just revolver ammo everywhere. Okay, what? Okay, so now he's a shadow creature. I'm sorry about this, though. I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about this. But you get taken by the darkness and I have to, have to end your life. You get taken by the darkness and I have to empty a full revolver. Revolver down in your, in, in your face. I'm sorry. Like, look at this, dude. The medical theory is the greatest currency, I guess. Oh. Stack them up, stack them up. Okay. And just refill. Easy. Easy. I need to worry about ammo. Okay. I do not. The one thing I do not like really like is the fact that the camera keeps defaulting to over the shoulder. Like the over the shoulder keeps defaulting to the other side, the American side, you know? Because for me, I like driving on the left side of the road because that's how it is over here, but, you know. I'm assuming that's why they did that. It's the default back to that because that's like the default over there. What the hell was that? I saw it from the window. I saw it. I saw something. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. You saw a man oh, and his dog being oh, taken You're from this crazy. earth. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. Okay, that's cool. And then Barry starts to trust us now, believes in what we were telling him earlier about the darkness and the shadows, people. Okay. I love this peak this way. You can just love the story, dude. Just love the way that Remedy tells stories as well. Did I come from there? Or up there? Assuming, do I go down here? Is this the way forward? Okay, don't need revolver ammo because they literally just stopped me up. Like, why would they give you more revolver ammo here if they literally give you a whole battle supply of revolver ammo? Now, this looks like where I came from, actually. Now that I'm looking at it. That's where I came from, so I need to go down here. But yeah, I just freaking love the atmosphere as well in this game. What's this say? For your safety, stay on a designated hiking trail. Checkpoint reached. The water flowing down there. Lover's Ambient scrolling. Lover's the Peak. Trail. Got some some stuff back here, some loot. Interesting moonshine cave. Okay. I don't even remember this being a cave. I don't even remember this. Okay, so you go back here, huh? It's freaking long ass cave. Okay, Moonshine Cave, site of the frequent bootlegger activity throughout Prohibition. Prohibition. Okay, somebody did detention strikes again. There's a lot of western law in this freaking area. I don't like cowboy law. Okay, there we go. Open. Pick up the lithium batteries. Now I'm probably gonna get attacked and use all the stuff I just picked up. What does this say? Moonshine Cave. This cave was the site of frequent and lucrative bootlegger activity throughout the Prohibition 1919 to 1933. It was mostly used for temporary storage of alcohol smuggled from Canada. But at times, alcohol was also distilled on the premises. Okay, so they were distilling alcohol in this freaking crappy cave. Makes sense, I guess. Caves were probably 
use the lock to keep under the wraps, you know, under the wraps of the, the, the low man. We did down here. Do not feed wildlife. One hundred dollars penalty, dude. If you feel if you feed a, a random animal running through you, hundred dollars. That's a lot of money. That's the price of Alan Wake 2. Coming out 17th October 2023. Tell me why, tell me why the price of Ellen worked too, right? Tell me why the price of that game went up after they announced the, the after they gave journalists like a preview of the game and people were like hyping it up more. Well, tell me why the price went up. Tell me why the price went up. It went up on the digital store, dude. Like how does that even make sense? Isn't the digital store supposed to be like more like once they set the price, that's the price? Like what do you mean? It went up like a whole like in my monies. It went up at what would you call that? Like ten dollars, twenty dollars I think it went up if you think in dollars and that's like equivalent of like like it went up three hundred Rand, which is crazy. From where it was, it went up three hundred Rand. Which is nuts. Out of nowhere, they just showed a preview of the game and gave journalists some behind the scenes access. And then journalists were like, that was the best game we played at the at the summer game fest. That was the most enjoyable game and I can't wait to, I'm so hyped. And then the, the price went up. What? I see what you did there, Remedy. Now that the hype's there, you want to freaking milk that, milk that hype train. The whole thing was like, oh, we can't afford physical release that like come on dude and then the price goes up i was like oh, okay if the game's gonna be cheaper nope nope there you go i well, like fixed it now the price is the right price it was just a placeholder okay there's some crazy sounds going on here i don't know where this guy thought he was going i don't know where this guy thought he was going I don't know where this guy thought he was going. I don't know if there's more enemies around me. That's the thing that's scaring me right now. So I don't... Oh, okay, sir. You can maybe not do that. Oh! Okay, sometimes the game can be scary. Sometimes the game can be scary, you know, because these guys just come swinging in like it. I just come swinging in like it's freaking cricket season. Okay, great old one. The great old one. Found by lightning in 1937, this exceptionally tall Rocky Mountain Douglas fir. Siu Dotsuga Menzies. I don't even know. Glauca was over 200 years old. According to local legends, it stretched beyond the stars after it fell. It was measured to be 66 meters tall, nearly a record length. This freaking sound effect and ambience going crazy in the background for no reason. I don't see any enemies. I am pushing forward. Okay, I see them now. I see them now. I see them now. Get back. Weave. Okay. Just grab that. Get back. Feeding them these rounds from my revolver. I'm just gonna uh, dash through this whole area now. With this freaking music is going nuts in the background. Get a swoop across here. Yeah. I think this is a light, right? I think this is a gen. Okay, they did that. They pulled it. Okay, dude. Cool. That makes sense. We just run the generator real quick. Run the generator quickly. Okay, yeah, cool. We got it. We got it. Exactly. You guys don't like the light. Get back. Freaking jumped on top of the generator. Okay, open that up. Got some more batteries. Nice. And some revolver ammo. What's this? Manuscript page. 
And I think we have something over here, huh? maybe some loot. No, just a broken phone. Okay. Bees? Didn't see a single bee in this game. Maybe they'll have bees in point two. That will be an added enemy type. What is this now, dude? Freaking zooming over to like a whole other area that I'm not even near. These guys, I don't want to be in these freaking trees when these enemies show up. Alright. This big guy is going to be a problem. Wait, I have a flagger. So get back. Keep forgetting I have other weaponry. Yeah, bro. I feel like invincible with this light, with this freaking flash. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. You said you feel invincible. I'll fix that. Okay, for your safety, stay on a designated hiking trail. Okay. Will do. Through three. This point was so creepy when I played it back. When I first played this game. It still gets me sometimes when the enemies just lunge at you, but for the most part it's not as as bad as it was back then. Okay, well, how do I get over here? Is that the way I have to go? Love us peak, yeah, that's the way I have to go, so I can probably go over here and get some bonus loot. I think just move for no reason. The wind is not that strong right now. Okay, dates from the year of... Oh, I can actually read this. The tree this ring was cut from started growing in 1846. The year the Oregon Treaty was signed. Other notable events marked on the rings. 1853, the Washington Territory was formed. 1878, the founding of the Bright Falls Mining Co. in the town itself. 1889, Washington was granted statehood. Three damaged in a forest fire in 1929. In 1970, the Bright Falls Mining Company closes its doors after a volcanic eruption below Golden Lake. Mount St. Helens erupts in 1980. Three fell by storm in 1987. And you can see all the dates stuck on there. How is that not worn at all, dude? How is none of that stickers? How are none of those stickers worn out? I mean, the rains out here, there's humidity to take into account, there's dirt blowing around, you're telling me those stickers stayed 100% pearly white, freaking clean throughout all this. Okay, dude, makes sense. Detail, detail team slacking over there though, let's be honest. I'm just kidding, excellent game, love the game. But that is kind of interesting, is that like a real thing that these little towns have, like trees, they take note of like giant trees and put years on it the year is like the years of events tied to certain what am i saying the years tied to certain events are like labeled on a tree the existence of a tree throughout all those years okay what do we have here map you have to get across the, the little area over here i don't think you get attacked here in this part the waiting part Open up, you gonna open up? Maybe not. Please keep the doors closed, remain seated and do not swing the cap and keep arms and head inside at all times. And enjoy the ride. Oh. I need to get attacked by crow crows during this part. That was freaking weird. That was freaking weird. The shadow people there, you know. Oh, hey. We can Colonel. More of them coming. Colonel, uh, Colonel Jack shits. That flashlight is good stuff. The flares will keep the bastards away. Okay, dude, I have a flag on myself. 
This man said a flashlight is child's play. And I have the big boy toys. You can see them too? Like flares oh, run out much quicker than a freaking well, in this game, at Why? least, flares are not much quicker than a flashlight. Because that's the way the story goes. Yeah, but All the move. odd ones use of This is where the game just fully embraces here. the action aspect. Oh, I've got a gun. Just keep that light steady on him. Okay, it bro, so he takes your gun during this point also. I recognized him. He'd been on the ferry when I first arrived here with Alice. He knew my name. We were headed in the direction of Lover's Peak. There was no yep. way this was a coincidence. He was the kidnapper. Mm -hmm. Come on, Wake. You better keep up. You, said you know what, Mr. Wake? Down, Wake? This freaking guy is such a freaking prick, dude. Okay, for your safety, stay on the Ethan Trail. Like, you really saw. Oh, and Wake's wife is missing? I'm gonna fully take advantage of that. I got for ya. I'm gonna take full advantage of that and try to make some money out of it. Come on, dude. Use your freaking gun. You have the gun, use it. Get to it, dude. You wanna hold the gun and use it. How about you use the gun, sir? You ever thought about that one? I keep jumping. Okay. I mean, crazy thing is... Okay, dude. Crazy thing is, he also sees them. You know? Crazy thing is, he's also seeing these guys right now. Hit this one, dude. This guy's right on top of us, and you win a freaking. What are you doing? There we go, dude. This man's really holding out on the freaking revolver rounds. Use the flares from the emergency box to hold them off while I get these boards. You mean? Give me the gun. Hold them off, yeah. bro. No can do. Are you kidding? Give oh me the gun. Oh my gosh, dude. No time for talk. Hold them off, damn it. This man said you, clearly the flares don't kill them, so I still have that problem, by the way. Just a little longer, scare off. You thought, dude, you thought, buddy. You thought, buddy, get back, get back. Feel the power of my light. Okay, wait, I ran out of, wait, wait, I ran out, wait, I ran out of light, do I have another flare? Yes, I do. I have five more flares. Get back. Get back. Nice. Yeah, get back, so use your gun on them. Come on, dude. Let's move it, move it, move it. Where's my wife? I need to get to it. Get Entering love is peak. Okay, this one, I really kidnapped my wife and then. Meet, wants to meet me, even guides me to the destination for some reason. We could have just spoke about it over there. This is it, Wade. Where we were. Last stand. There's more players here. Get ready. We fight them as long okay. as they keep coming. Give me the goddamn gun. They're coming. That's not how this goes. Get with the program, Wake. What? Why don't they throw this guy Stop with moving. axes? Like what? Get into them? Here we go. So are you gonna get on them? Like he's a terrible shot. He's a terrible shot. The one behind me. They're coming from behind now. Stick is to get right on top of them with the flashlight. Weave every possible attack. Like, how about you shoot the one that has no freaking shadow shield? So. Okay, there we go. Insert the battery. Insert two batteries. Why not? Okay, take him out. Take him out. Take him out, so. There we go. Nice job, so. At least he's not shooting me. I guess he wants the bribe money. Or the not bribe money, what do you call that hostage money? Okay, time to use the play. Okay, 
Are you serious, dude? He just walks right past this guy. Hello? Okay, get there. Get the big one. Get the big guy. He's running into me, so you're not gonna do anything about that. Here we go. I have the definition of lumberjack. Please shoot this man. Thank you. For a guy with a tactical military vest, you suck, dude. Now. Your name is Trash. Where's my wife? I knew you were gonna say that. I read it all before. You're a hell of a writer. Congratulations. You're gonna bring about something glorious and terrible once we get you some uh, proper editorial control. What the okay, hell are you talking what? about? Where's Alice? I want the entire manuscript, or she's gonna suffer bad. You touch her all. Okay, so this guy kind of knows what's going on. I never picked that up before. I don't know why. He knows like everything about the lake and all the secrets of what's happening here. So he must be in league with that other lady. Somehow. Interesting. Okay, pick up the revolver ammo. He's also running away no, now. Come back here! I swear I'll kill you if you hurt Alice! Do you hear me? Come he back here! Dropped a bunch of stuff on the ground. He was running away. He had Alice, and he wanted the manuscript because he thought it held some magical power. But I had no manuscript to give him. I had to get back to Barry and figure out my next move. Yeah. Definitely have to get back to Barry. I don't know how Barry's just like. Not in this whole thing. He's just in that cabin. And he somehow never gets attacked by the shadow creatures. At least in this part of the story. Oh my gosh, I thought it was a collectible. No, I thought it was a collectible. I thought it was a collectible or some sort. I'm just gonna run. I thought that was a collectible. Ow! My X was completely full! Okay, is health automatic in this game? I forget if health just goes up by itself. It does, right? Okay, I need to avoid these at all costs. I forgot there was like bear traps in this game. Okay, so avoid those. Avoid those at all costs because you don't want to get caught in those. I think as soon as you get caught in those, uh, like an enemy will spawn in. Okay, so let's get some revolver ammo going. Cool. Got the full, full revolver clips. Not gonna shoot any of the cans because that is a collectible I know about, but I do not want to do that right now because I'm not going for the 100% run and I don't want that to distract me. Okay, do I have to go here? Over the log. Uh, sure where the intended path is, yeah? Oh, oh my gosh! Okay, this calls for a flea. This calls for 100% of flea. This is a flea situation. I I still have my other guns. Where's this other guy? No, I don't have my other guns, I just have this one. Okay, I only have the revolver, it's back to revolver and flea combo. Okay, let's just pressure this guy. There we go. I can't tell where the enemies are actually coming from because the... The sound is going crazy. It sounds like they're behind me and then the guy's right in front of me. Okay, so is this something here? It looked like there was an item. Eh? Yeah, I think I have to go up. Wait, there's probably loot back here, right? Probably loot back here. Or maybe not. Maybe it's not loot. Maybe this is just an alternate route to get up and where you attract more enemies if you go this way. Who knows? 
Oh yeah, somebody over here. Get back. I'm pressing the wrong button. And this guy's about to eat me. Or maybe not. Here we go. Okay, get some more. At least some more ammo. Get stocked up. There's a manuscript page over here. We could have that quickly. What is this? Hunting rifle. I hear another enemy like right here. This is annoying, dude. I'm just gonna run back into the light. Get back. Get back. Get back. Get back. Okay. I'm gonna go. I have to take this guy out, most probably. I have the hunting rifle. I should probably use that. Where is this guy? I hear them, but I. I see you now. Okay. Are there other enemies? It's just this. Here we go. Get back. He was also like the 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 the, 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 the what am I saying? The enemy defeat. What am I saying? Like the kill the kill effects and stuff. Like just shooting them and when they die, feels so satisfying the way it happens, the animations and stuff. Just feels so satisfying when you pop off that finisher. I had heard the plane fall. And the plane it made no sense. It was clear that it had just fallen here, but it was very old and obviously hadn't flown in decades. Looking at it sent a shiver down my spine. Hadn't flown in decades. This is manifest. Okay, I think this is just for loot. I don't think there's anything actually happening on this plane. Maybe not. Is this for loot purposes? I forget what the whole like, situation here is. Stop it, you are. Oh, here we go. Get some loot. Okay, so you got some fleas and some flea gun ammo. Okay, and then I think I actually have to go down. Who the heck is behind me? I hear you. Please leave me alone. There we go. Okay, I think I have to go down here. Keep switching weapons when I don't want him to really switch weapons. Definitely getting attacked here. Yeah? And out comes the flare. Get back. Get back. You over there in the distance. Get back. You over there. How many are left actually? Here we go. Easy pickings. Easy pickings. You guys can't stop me, I'm Alan Wake, I'm a writer who's highly skilled in, in gun combat. Get back. So where are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Why are you running? Okay. Huh. You know? Okay. Where is this other guy? There's definitely another guy somewhere. Just gonna power this up. Should be fine now. Okay, grab the batteries. What is that? Hunting rifle ammo and revolver ammo. Okay. Probably reload my rifle. I don't know where to go, by the way. No idea where the actual main quest route is right now. Somewhere over here. But when you stray off the path, they tend to throw enemies at you. Why do I feel like this is not the way to go? I don't know, when I have flares on me, I just feel like more powerful. I feel so much more powerful. How are you here? There's a light there. There's a light there. A whole light there. once you get into the, the mechanics of the game the game just becomes more fun it's still kind of stressful and tense but fun at the same time 
Yeah, so this can't be you. Yeah. Reach the top of the mall, they say. Oh, they forgot. We were chasing this guy. Okay. Don't mind me, I will just be jumping around you because I am a full action hero. I mean, okay, dude, this shadow clone jutsu is in here. I mean, I guess in the situation you would like to think. I don't know if this is like realistic to that degree. Like, you'd like to think that a man would do all this if his wife was taken, right? We didn't know where his wife went. Would you really go to the lengths of this though? To put yourself through this? Like, or would you just assume she disappeared and just like let the cops do their job? Like, would you really go after somebody claiming to have kidnapped her and do all these things? Like, I feel like it's one in a million type of guy right here. I don't know why dude, he really loves his wife after he had that argument. I guess also he left on bad terms because he, they just came out of an argument. And then he was, and then she disappears. So, he probably feels guilty about that as well. He was just shouting at her and then she freaking goes missing. And he doesn't know where she is. And probably didn't mean it. But you know just seems kind of a crazy situation. I feel like if this ever happened in real life, what would somebody actually do in this situation? I feel like I would have given up the first, when I realized my head was knocked in my I would have gone to the police to immediately. I just left it with them. I don't know if I would be doing all this. I think I would be battling the shadow dimension on all of my own. Get back. Empty a whole clip in that man's face because he deserved it. Okay, where are we going back here? I see there's like a bunch of stuff going on here. Yeah? A bunch of area with things in it, you know? As it should be. But I'm not sure why there's anything over there if there's no collectibles or anything to actually find there. Another hunting rifle. Stack up on some more ammo. Am I supposed to climb this? I don't know if I'm supposed to, but there's a manuscript page right here. I don't think I was supposed to do that. Maybe I'm supposed to... Oh, here we go. I didn't even see this. Like, I always still supposedly hunting this guy down. This guy uh, ran off already. I guess we said, he said he's going to abandon the chase after this dude, right? And go back to Barry. I don't know why you do this. Do a 360 and Like, why are we doing a reroute? I forgot the reasoning behind that. We couldn't just go back the way we can. Oh, I see this guy. Oh, he's not ready yet. I swear I dodged that. Here we go. Freaking trash. I see a light in the distance. Maybe we can get there. Soon. What is that? A flea? A flea gun ammo? What is that? Picked up revolver ammo. Limited reached. Okay, camping grounds. Can I just walk through this? Yep. Definitely gonna get attacked here again, even though this is a giant moonlight shining down. I guess moonlight doesn't count. Who is this? Who is that? When did he come in like he had a role in the, so in the, in the society over here? Easy, just pressure them. 
They can't do anything about it. When you just shove a light in their face, they can't do anything about it. Camping grounds. This way. Okay, Holder Wood National Park. Who is calling me at this hour? Better be Barry. Stay out of sight. I'm on my way. Don't open the door. What am I crazy? Stay hidden. I'll okay, be dude. there soon. I Just make be sure you keep the lights on. Can't make it out. Yeah, keep the lights on. Make sure you definitely keep the lights on. Barry at the cabin, but at least I was out of the woods. Okay, where are we though? Said that random like a stall. I feel like going back the way we came would have maybe been quicker, you know? Because where even are we? Can I get into this garage? I have to get the car nope. from the lock garage. It would get me back to Barry faster. And the headlights were a welcome bonus. Yeah. I mean all cars have headlights, by the way, and I if you know that, you know. So you seem really hyped about the, the headlight factor. Okay, garage keys got that. Some more freaking a story is not a machine that does into the future past. A story is a beast with a life of its own. You can create it, shape it, but as the story grows, it starts wanting things of its own. Change one thing and you set off a chain reaction of events that spreads through the whole thing. The characters have to be true to themselves. The events need to follow a logic that fits the story. A single flaw and the magic is gone. The story dies. Alice dies. Yeah. So basically, I mean, you can sort of get the gist of what's happening. He writes the story. The story's... Oh, evil! What the heck? The story's written. And it comes to life. The story's written and it's coming to life. But... And we are like finding the manuscript pages along the way. But the story has to be an actual story with plot holes, not plot holes, with plot twists and interesting themes for the story, for the magic to take hold of it and actually create that story in real life. So it has to be done by a writer or somebody with a knack for writing. Whereas if it was somebody who didn't have that talent or that ability, the story wouldn't manifest because it would just be like freaking doo-doo writing and the magic would be like that is trash I don't want any part in that okay open this up and he can't like so that's like the, the basically the reasoning for why he can't why the story can't be written to just have like an easy ending or like a like he has to have challenges to overcome because then the story wouldn't have be interesting enough for anything to work okay what the heck i don't even know where i'm supposed to be going to be honest i don't want to get stuck now you do not want to get stuck now without the vehicle okay i guess i go this way and then for some reason this game also has freaking driving sequences in it which is kind of cool actually but also like random in a sense because it's just weird it makes it like more open world or it just creates this more like like i hope they have stuff like this still in the sequel it's just it's just what makes the game what makes the game the way it is you know, what it is okay i guess i have to go up here again and I'm I think you can get out at a lot of these locations and even go off the main path to like explore and find um, collectibles and stuff. Laying it on. But obviously I'm just doing the, the straight path right now. So I don't want to venture too far off. Where is this enemy dude? I hear sound effects and stuff but I don't see anything. The flare gun was probably the best weapon I could imagine against the dark things I was facing. Oh, okay. Okay, thanks for the heads up, Alan. Really? Okay, 
Okay, that man had extra health for some reason. What the heck? Get back! Look at that, he loaded that gun already. Here we go. Okay, back on here. Probably gonna be needing the flashlight. Oh no. Eddie's phone, eh? Well, the kidnapper, I you guess. Son of a bitch! Where's my wife? Enough horseplay, wake! You deliver the manuscript, and you can have your woman back. Oh Simple my back. gosh, dude. I Where's my wife, listen, sir? Listen, I'm gonna need time to finish it. I still need to write the ending. I need a week. Not done? I need a week. Two days! The old it doesn't cold equal a week, so. You can find it easy, city boy. The main building, there at noon. You bring the manuscript, you'll get your wife. If not, well, uh, get me. Yes, yes, I, I get you. Freaking thrash, dude. I think this is the house I came from. Like, at the beginning of this chapter. This guy really is calling all the shots right now. Like, I don't know what his intentions was. I can't remember what his intentions were for the manuscript. Why he wanted it so badly. The assumption is that he's just gonna try and sell it, but I mean nobody's gonna believe that you wrote the book. So. Birds over the phone. Okay, the birds are on the house. We have is this. Yep, supplies. Need that. Grab okay, some of these. Don't need batteries, I guess. Okay, and now we have to fight all these birds, I guess. Wait. Where are they? Oh! Is it the same group of birds that just keeps coming back? I think so. I'm just gonna use my flag gun at this point. Okay, did I get them? I feel like I got them already, right? They mold them? Here we go. I mean, flag gun seems like the best option right now. They flew away. I think that was nope. There's more. There's maybe more. Where are they? I wonder if you can shoot them from here. Okay. Here we go. Took the whole lot out. With that one flare. Okay, are we getting more? What's going on here? Do this such a slow. Like Progression of this idiot. Okay, there we go. I don't think it matters if I pick up the batteries now, but I'm gonna pick them up anyway. Hey, Al. I'm, I'm sorry for thinking you were having a psychotic episode, man. Yep. Better be sorry. What's crazy to me is that he keeps putting the guns and stuff down. Like he just throws the gun and stuff away. Never keeps it on him. Perhaps he could learn something anything about the island and the cabin that had disappeared the man wanted a manuscript i had to try to write him one to get alice back for me the supernatural had always been nothing but a metaphor for the human psyche a tool to use in writing fiction now it was happening for real and I couldn't put a single word on paper. Hmm. I mean, imagine, dude, having to write a whole freaking book 
in like two days. Mary Wheeler speaking. This is Rose. Rose? I found Mr. Wake's A good book oh, in two days. Sweet, brilliant girl. Do you and Crazy. Mr. Wake come get them? So you don't, the Betty, you don't market. notice how drunk she sounds? We'll be there in less than an hour. See you soon. Have a great day. And then Hope here we go, dude. Soon. And I'm freaking cliffhanger Netflix you. series ending. Good girl. She's like controlling them. And then you just get the freaking tune coming in, making it even more ominous. Like, what the heck is going on? Who is that lady? How is she involved? Like, just playing this the first time. You have to understand, dude. If you haven't, if you hadn't played this game. Like, just get into it. You just have to sit down and enjoy it. It's like a Netflix series, dude, in a game format. Playing through a series. Alan Wake. And then you just get a nice little tune to add to your playlist. You know? Google it. What song is that? End of episode 2. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere with it. I forget how many episodes there are in Alan Wake. But we got through the second episode. This game is still... It's still yet to it still works. It still has that satisfying combat. To me, the combat is satisfying. It has that. You know, break the light. Break the shadow shield with the light, then freaking pop some clips in their head. It's just so satisfying when they pop off and you get that slow-mo and using the flares for area control. Like, there's just so many good mechanics in this game, dude. I just really enjoy the way they implemented the flashlights and they implemented all the types of different light. So I'm interested also to see what type of new light devices they use in the sequel to see how they kind of add to that and what kind of features we can get from that maybe they'll add you know like new types i don't know maybe we'll be able to be able to like wear headlamps and things like that because there is a section with, later on in the story where they use headlamps so i'm wondering if they add that where we can actually use headlamps as the character um but yeah excited to see what that game's going to be like still going into the story going into episode 3 in the next video hopefully getting to delve deeper into the story of alan wake and rediscover that whole that whole thriller that got me invested in this franchise and i for the sequel coming out in october 17th cannot wait for that marking the date on my calendar anxiously waiting that waiting for that to come out um but yeah thank you guys for watching if you did if you are also a fellow Alan Wake enjoyer and you do want to and you're also hyped for the sequel thank you for watching if you did find this if you somehow found this I don't know if you found this please do find this YouTube get on it recommendations um, but also I'm calling you out YouTube I'm calling you out because I know you have something against me I know you have something against me but thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy please feel free to like share subscribe or just like share subscribe because we need to be growing here i've been doing this for a while now we need to grow here we need to grow here you know um but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next and wake video or whatever i do on the channel but again thank you guys for watching i cannot be thankful enough and goodbye